Hello, today we are on a trading elevator ride and uh, in this puzzle we'll learn that uh, functions might not do uh, what's expected. Uh, so, uh, as you can see we have an, a building interface and a contract elevator. So we have basically two things. The difference is contract elevator already has provided its implementation. So it's something we can't control. And uh, what we have to do in this scenario is uh, we have to provide our own building implementation. Because as you can see, when we call the go to function in elevator and we say what floor we want to go to, uh, we'll create an instance of a building implementation uh, to the provided message sender. So uh, this means that we have to call the elevator function, uh, elevator contract using our own building contract, and we will build it uh, by inheriting the provided interface. Otherwise, the calls won't work. And uh, down below, uh, the logic is that uh, if we want to go to any floor, but not the last floor. We can proceed and the floor is set to the to the provided parameter but then it says that uh, it sets the top boolean and it means whether we are at the last floor and of course we can't be at the last floor in theory because uh, this check uh, lets us go to every floor but the last one so we have to um, add some shenning guns in the is last floor so that it returns false here but true here so in um, in normal proper source code it's not possible because it will return the same uh, value which is true or false in both cases but the good thing is although we can't control the elevator contract we can control the implementation of the last floor, so we'll implement some uh, shelling guns, some bugs on purpose. And knowing that, we can move to the implementation part. Okay, now uh, we are in the Remix implementation of our contract, which is called building, and it inherits from the interface building, uh, in which we have the function is last floor. So it's the function we'll be using um, to get shelling guns. So, um, let's look at the functions in our contract. The second one is the go to floor. So, it simply will go to the floor and also call the is last floor function uh, from the interface. Uh, but we have to use flag first to uh, fulfill two requirements from the go to top, from the instance address from the Ethernet, to be clear. So, to do that, uh, we have to call is last floor twice because First of all, is the false uh, for the first requirement. So we want to use the flag to, on the next call, set it to true. As you can see, uh, here's the again uh, flag and we'll be using it to fulfill those two requirements. So all we have to do now is to get the instant address, deploy the contract and call the go to top because it will be also calling is last floor. So let's do that. Press the address and we'll paste it into the remix to deploy contract as we mentioned. Okay, great. So now we will access the contract and we will access the second function, go to go to top. And if it gets true, it will fulfill the two requirements we want it to fulfill. And we can submit the instance. Alright, great. So let's try to submit it. Alright, great. That's it. So, thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment.
See you.